Hello, welcome to Road Adventure Photos again. Today, I'm going to take a ride up to Wally Road. And we're just passing the Amish. Amish work buggy there. Had the uh, steel wheels rolling on the road. Right here, we're on Route 62, headed to Danville, Ohio. And we're going to go up to a place called Wally Road. Wally Road is a road that runs along the Mohican River and it's a pretty famous spot in Ohio because all the canoe liveries in the area use that section of river and the road is the road that the buses take everybody up and down for this short relatively shallow section of river that's really nice for easy canoeing and inner tubing entertainment in general but uh, right now we're coming into Danville and it's just a little town little farm community so we'll uh, have a look around here on the dash cam and then head up the uh, country roads for a bit Right here we're going to head up 514. This is a really nice road. A lot of curves. We'll go past some dairy farms and things. I'm not going to leave all the footage in here, but I'll put a few sped up clips to give you an idea of what type of road to expect in this area. I take my motorcycle up to Amish country on this road all the time. It's just a, a great ride. Yeah, you do have to watch for farm machinery, a lot of really wide farm machinery too, so sometimes they're over the yellow on you, but it's a lot of fun. This is just a small town called Greer. There is a church and a few houses and that's about it here. There is a little river landing that I stopped at just to have a look at the river for the day. So I'll switch to some footage for the river here. Show you what that little landing's like. It's a nice place to put a canoe in or something. Or just watch the water go by for a little while. After leaving the river landing at Greer, not too far up the road is the turn onto Wally Road. And as you can see, it's a scenic byway. And it starts out pretty scenic up here with the uh, hills on the, on the both sides of it. And wilderness and some little farms, things of that nature. As we progress, you'll start seeing more of the river.
As you go up Wally Road, you'll end up in Loudonville. This area starts with a lot of campgrounds right through here. And already in April, the campgrounds seem very full, so a lot of people set up their campers year-round. And this is where all the commercial area starts, where you get on a canoe. And uh, your stores and everything you need are up here. This is Loudonville, Ohio. It's a small town. This is the main drag. You'll find some furniture stores here, like Amish furniture type things. A few restaurants. It's a, it's a nice place to walk. Little hardware store, five and 10 cent store. But just up here by the grain silos, I found my first photo opportunity. It's an old Plymouth station wagon we just passed right there. So, photo opportunity spotted, and I turn around to go get it. And as I come back to it, I see that it's an old Plymouth station wagon. And uh, there was nothing special about these cars, which I, I think it's uh, why I find it. Surprising that someone still had one. Just a neat old car. So after checking out the town, I decided to go down the river and uh, head back down towards Greer. And I stopped a few times along the way. There's a couple of pull-offs. Here's one coming up here. The wind was just barreling down through here, and I, I would have liked to have you heard the tranquil sounds of the river, but it was not to be, so I had to kill the sound. But you can see from the look of the river here how it's just a nice canoe ride, should you ever go up and decide to partake in that. So this is the Greenville Treaty Line from 1797. And if you come looking for it, it's right by the Mohegan Reservation. Just off of Wally Road. Honestly, I don't remember the exact history of this from school, but I do remember hearing about it. I'll have to look up more. That's one of the reasons I stop at these historical markers, is it helps me learn history if I'm actually standing right where it was, and it gives me a point of reference. After I was done exploring Wally Road, I decided to keep following the river down Brinkhaven Road. And it gets pretty interesting down here if you don't mind riding on some gravel. And it didn't take too long to 
come up on this barn that I thought would make a really nice photo and it turned out to the uh, spring coming on with the forsythia bushes turning yellow there worked out all right for this photo well worth the stop After I was done at the Brinkhaven Road area, I went to Martinsburg, then south on 586, then I turned on to Girl Scout Camp Road. This takes you down to a covered bridge, and the road gets pretty bad. It's bad enough that you have to turn around. After you cross the bridge a little ways, there's a uh, washout. You have to have a four-wheel drive to get through. But uh, I was happy with the photo I got. I'll be posting the uh, photos on my website too. The last stop of the day is the Greg Mill Bridge. It's in between Frazeesburg and Martinsburg on Frampton Road. It's kind of difficult to find, but it's a, it's a nice bridge with a nice place to stop. I'll show you a picture of it here after I uh, get parked. And if you want any of the pictures from today's video, feel free to go to roadadventurephotos.com and you can download the web versions there if you would like any of the other full-size versions for any projects you might be doing you just have to send me an email I hope you enjoyed until next time goodbye